Hello and welcome to Moodle. My name is Erica. Please allow me to show you around. Before getting started, I'm letting you know that I'm running the screencast using the Firefox web browser. You may also use Google Chrome. Firefox and Chrome give you the best experience in this version of Moodle. First, I have navigated to moodle.bbc.edu. I'll log in by entering my username, which is my first name dot my last name at my.bbc.edu. Then I'll enter my password. If you are a brand new student, you will have received an email with your password. Then click login. Once logged in successfully, you'll want to know what your different options are and how to navigate around the site. Be aware of these six images, for they are clickable. If you're a new student, click on Student Orientation and get started on a course that will orient you to BBC and S eLearning. I'm going to click on this home breadcrumb to return to the main home page. If you're looking for information, you may want to click on the student resources link. Here you will find information on various topics including academic catalogs, BBC and S websites, Bible conference materials, Bible resources, career services, chapel materials, proctor information, forms, grading scales, handbooks and policies, ministry development, technology resources, textbook and library information, things you'll need to know in an online course, online course schedules, and writing resources. I'll navigate back to the course to the home page. If you're interested in our PhD studies, you may click on the PhD Hub to get started. You may also contact Dr. Ken Gardoski to gain more information about our PhD program. To see a list of your courses, click on the My Courses link in the navigation block. To enter a particular course, simply click on the course title. Your courses will look pretty much the same as they did in the old Moodle. The navigation block also contains a link to your profile. When you're viewing your profile, locate the settings block. Here you can edit your profile. If you are an online student, be aware of the form tracking setting. Online courses are very discussion based and they're forum heavy. You'll want to be sure that you click on highlight new posts for me in order to track your forum posts effectively. One very important setting is titled Messaging. If you find that you're receiving too many emails from Moodle, you'll want to check out this page. There are various different notification methods for different activities that occur in Moodle. You may want to change the defaults and customize the notifications for the methods that you would prefer. The activity stream is kind of like Facebook. If you choose to receive notifications that way, you'll get a red pop-up circle with the number of notifications that you have. You may also choose an email or a pop-up notification. So go through and change those. If you're getting too many emails, before you contact someone and ask them what's going on, just visit this page and make some changes to those settings. I strongly encourage you to use your BBC email address, but if you would rather email notifications go somewhere else, simply type in an alternate email address in this field below and then click Update Profile. 
for my purposes, I'm going to navigate back to the home page. If you have any questions about how to navigate Moodle 2, click on the Contact Us link on the menu bar. When you're finished in your online courses, simply click, out, click on the Log Out button. Thank you for using Moodle and have a great fall semester. We want you to use the site effectively. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you.